It's interesting because I almost passed on today. I said, let me rest. <sighs> never make decisions for me. I'll never rely on decisions made while laying in bed because it's so easy to stay there and say tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. <sighs> That's another thing I don't do. <sighs> I try to not get the mind involved with what's gonna happen. So, if I'm supposed to rest, I would know. I would not let the mind say, oh, yesterday I worked out, so today I should rest because I may have a load of energy somewhere stored. Who knows how the body reacts. So I'm catching my breath. Out of failure. Okay, round two. Feeling great now. Wow. I normally don't work out like this. I have it planned out. But I decided that I want to try to see what working out this way, what kind of results I'm going to get. There's no counting. I'm not counting to a certain amount. There's no amount of sets. I say I'm gonna do five, you know, five sets of, and it's a full-on exercise. So today is like, I guess it's an aerobic day, whatever you want to call this exercise. Who cares what it's called? It's burning me out. Okay. Okay. That is incredible. You know, that third round, I felt like I got more energy somehow. But that's my point, like I never know how my body's gonna direct things. 
I'm the type of guy that I start off slow. I guess that's called a sprinter. Well, I start off slow and then 20 minutes down the line, I'm a freaking maniac doing a whole bunch of exercises and I continue, continue, continue. So I don't know if uh, overtraining applies to me because I'm a kind of guy that within 20 minutes sometimes, that's when, the that's when the workout starts in 20 minutes. Sometimes not. So this means that the muscles are dictating what's supposed to happen. Not, oh, like normally that's three rounds. Maybe uh, eh, hang it up, that's good. Your workout is done. Move on to something else. No, no, no. Is this one exercise the other failure? One exercise. Yeah. It's a combo exercise, baby. I'm saying one exercise, but it's doing a lot. Get that breathing. I'm hot. I'm hot. And I feel like this is, even though I'm tired, I feel like this is the beginning. Ooh, wow. All right, nothing's coming to mind. I'll say something quick. If I decide to count to 12, by the time I get to 10, mentally, it seems like my body follows those numbers and I get to, and I start to tire out prior to 12. So by 10, oh, by 11, oh, by 12, but if I don't count, I'll probably do 25. I'm serious. So I think counting for me, since I don't, I'm not a bodybuilder, so I don't do uh, the 10 rep max or the five rep max. And so for someone that exercises my style, there's no need to count. There's no need to look at the clock like, oh, work out 20 minutes. The clock said 20 minutes. But what if I could go for half an hour? For example, if I could go for half an hour right now, I'll do it. What I want is to feel that where it's like getting up from here is going to be tough. Right, so far, I'm okay. Okay, so up. Uh, yeah. Hit! 
on, let's do it, baby. Alright, see. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm thinking about? All the YouTube, all the YouTubers out there say, please subscribe. And I wonder why they have to ask. There's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. It's been what, a decade so far with subscribe, subscribe. And we still have to ask people to subscribe. So I'm trying to figure out why do we need to remind you when if you want to follow this channel, you're going to want to subscribe. Huh? That's how I do it. Huh? I don't need you to say, hey, please subscribe. It helps the algorithm. Okay. Two years ago, that would have been a nice catchphrase, you know. But now we all know that the YouTube algorithm works that way. You know, the more people subscribe and like, you get a better ranking. So... If you like this, subscribe. If you don't, uh, come back, check it out later. I think I'm going to be here doing more videos. Uh, I have to do chest and out of failure. I have to do, wow, so many out of failure. So many exercises. Pr plank to out of failure. That's going to be quick. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. A little water. Can I have a little water, please? A little water, please. Open up, baby. This is it. Come on now. those breathings <sighs> I learned that from the uh, yogi guys the breathing the guys who do the uh, pranayama breathing <sighs> there's a certain type where you <sighs> you almost kind of think of think of a water a glass of ice that's it a glass of ice and it's all imbalanced the ice is going up to the side and you shake it and it balances out the ice. That's what I'm doing. It kind of like works things out. Like I can't explain it the way they do, but the way they explain it at that is that it it balances your nadis. A nadis is a, a Sanskrit term for the way your whole system is like work together, your bones, your muscles, the whole thing. I think, I do it. So I don't really need to know. I don't care to know, because I do it. And that's, that's what I did. In the mornings, I meditate for an hour and do about three rounds of those type of breathing exercises, including or mixed up a Wim Hof breathing exercise. That charges me up, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna allow my mind to intrude here. I think I got one or two rounds left. Ugh. Let's see, baby. I got 
Gotta throw some Ronnie Coleman inspiration in there. A little water. Come on, baby. I'm gonna do this. I'm starting. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. See this gym here? This is thanks to the pandemic. You know? The gyms were closed. I'm like, wait a minute. I gotta work out and what am I gonna do now? Everyone's gonna get fat, I know that. I said, I didn't have any equipment whatsoever. No floor mat, nothing. No dumbbells, no barbell no resistance bands, nothing. I had zero inside the gym. And so, there happened to be a home pro open. And I went inside for something else, who knows, stuff. And I saw chains, these chains that I'm hanging, these, this chain right here. I see these freaking chains and I'm like, you know what? They're heavy. So I bought six of them. I figured if I put them all together, they're heavier. I can make them lighter. And uh, I can do every exercise. I can do curls. I can do, I can do anything. I can wrap it around my arms. I can do what I'm doing now. I'm like, and so these chains, like, they're freaking incredible because it adds extra resistance. When they wobble, it causes the muscle fibers to shoot in all different directions, nothing isolated. I don't, uh, I don't want those, I don't want those exercises. Not me, uh, fuck. So, I have to thank the problem. I mean, you know, modest with respect to that. I was able to design my own gym, you know? And so, I'm grateful for that part, okay? that part so man I've been working out for six years maybe four months now and I can't stop I know what it's like if I stop I'll gain weight I gain some but I lose it and so auto failure baby can't talk too long too long this is the auto failure session man can't talk too long what am I doing talking so much? Can't talk here. This is thing about action, baby.
in the morning. All right, so honestly, one more, and that's it. As I'm burning up, I feel it. I'm sweating everywhere now, and I just can't help to think that I almost canceled. That I almost said no, don't exercise, rest. Because the mindset I worked out yesterday and the day before. So this means that I qualify for a day's rest. But that's too, it's too, well, it's too organized to the point where, is it truly a rest day that I need? I don't know, I can't really tell if it's a really a rest day. Like, for example, if I beat my chest up and the next day, it's really sore that I'm gonna rest and now that makes sense. But yesterday I did abs, just abs, abs to failure. You can check out that video. But I don't wanna decide today off, tomorrow on, the next day off, tomorrow, two days on, two days off. I never want to know on a Monday what I'm doing. I think that chest Mondays is, I mean, it works for these bodybuilders, huh? but I don't understand. Like, what if you didn't really tax your chest yesterday? Like, maybe you could go on and do another chest the next day and really freaking, and then see what happens. You can always fix it, take a rest later. You know, I'm assuming we're all careful, you know, I'm careful. I, I'm, uh, I don't want to say my age because I decided I'm not going to do that. I don't want to, no, I haven't announced my name, <laughs> no, I, no, I, and I don't expect anyone to watch this video this far. <laughs> if you're watching this video to this far, you got to at least put something in the comment and say, listen, I heard what you said 14, 15 minutes down the line. And I'm here with you. And it's interesting, it's something cool. I'm getting goosebumps. Tell me something, or oh, this is a shit video. You're weak. You know, I can take it, I can handle it. Yeah. yeah. So I think I got one more, but you know the last talk was too long. So I, I gotta cut it down. I get, you know, this is out of failure, you know. I can't rest too long like I'm starting all over. So let's go, I can always continue. There's no time limit. There's no beginning or the end. The beginning and end are now. There's no start here and finish there. And my muscles are done. I'm done and I'm done. What can I say? Come on, let me get, let me get, this is out of failure, come on, what am I doing talking, come on. Alright, <laughs> I'm walking to you is a struggle, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done. This is a good out of failure. It's kind of different because it's an aerobic. I'm steaming up. I don't have a headache. 
usually when I bang it out, I start getting this weird headache. That's like a sign to, you know, stop, drink water, end it. But I did what, seven rounds, eight rounds? You see what I mean? If I count, then it's orchestrated, you know? I don't think the muscles are meant for orchestration, you know? I think that's where a lot of us are going wrong. Because what's happening is too much verbalization. Like, let me explain how to work this. And let me, oh no, let me explain. Oh no, according to science, this says. And then if you watch all the science, it's just it's such a mixture of things that probably work for this certain individual, a certain person that decides to work really heavy and is dedicated like Ronnie Coleman, Chris Bumstead, they, they're so dedicated that they they have an and I might be wrong because I, I think if I remember correctly, Chris Bumstead, I didn't see him counting. I, but maybe he did, but afterwards he kept going, which means was that if you still have more in you, then do it. It's like, you think that I'm thinking I'm overtraining and that like, I care. So if my body is really, really, really tired tomorrow, I'm gonna know when, I'm, when I set up for a new workout, I can feel something that says, no, take a break. Take, or there's nothing wrong with doing a five minute workout, you know, 10 minute, do something or walk, some, something very easy. If I haven't done, let's say back in a while, I'll do a few back back exercises, there's so many calf, legs, this, like that. There's so many different exercises to do. Like, it doesn't have to be like, this, and then this, and then that, and then this, and then this. And you gotta see my body though. You can't see it good, but it's freaking cool. I like, I like, I like where I've taken myself, I do. I'm gonna try one more. <coughs> One more, baby. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I got a charge there, you saw it? A freaking charge. Okay, but in all fairness, I'm done.